hello and a welcome back to my channel um so today's video is going to be the best tutorial you've ever seen no i'm just kidding it's actually going to be um a tutorial on the look that i'm wearing right here um i actually tried out a new palette well actually not new but um it's a palette i've had for a while and i hadn't tried it out um you guys will find out how i feel about it in the video the only thing that i will say about it <laughs> um is that i probably will never run out of any of these shadows and um i probably will never have a need to repurchase it and even if for some reason i did i probably wouldn't so if that gives you any insight to how i feel then you guys will see more on it in a couple of minutes uh needless to say it was not my favorite um at all uh, but I think for it not being my favorite, um, and some of the formulas of the shadows just being so, so bad, um, I feel like I pulled off a pretty decent look. Um, it was a disaster, so, uh, you are not walking into the best tutorial ever, you are walking into the worst tutorial ever, because this is gonna be a disaster, but... It's something fun and something different so I hope you guys enjoy and if you want to see how I got this look and see how I feel about this awesome palette uh, just keep on watching <laughs> all right so I already did my brows and I cleaned them up with some concealer and then I also um, put some concealer on my lids and now I'm gonna go ahead and set that really quick So I have you guys zoomed in a little bit more. I don't really know what I want to do yet. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go with it. Ooh, there is a lot of fallout in the pan. So I'm not really liking all of that kickback. But um, that is why I did my eyes first today. Because um, I kind of suspected that that might be the case. Especially since I haven't tried this out yet. So good, good, good job, Emily. So the first shade I'm going to be using is the shade Lustful. Um, and I'm going to be popping that right in my crease. Maybe. I feel like... I'm gonna go in with the shade Wine Stain. This one doesn't have as much kickback, which I like. I already like the shade a lot better. I mean, it's no secret if you are uh, a beauty guru or somebody who just likes makeup that when it comes to eyeshadows, stuff can just be formulated so differently in one palette from individual shadow to individual shadow so you really have to mess around and test stuff out so i pretty much have all the brown that i want to put down and now i'm going to go in with the shade hickey <laughs> uh this one also doesn't have a lot of kickback so that's pretty good and i'm going to pop this again in my crease just to kind of darken things up some more okay I don't know if you guys can see all I mean I don't have any fallout down here but from blending everything out all of it has I mean that is all shadow that just from doing my windshield wiper motions blending on my crease managed to transfer all the way down here even on my ear I mean that is insane I don't know I'm not really happy with how this is turning out not gonna lie all right I'm just gonna take some concealer
I guess I'm gonna go in with uh, the shade Gossip. I'm just so unenthused right now. Oh, whatever. I'm just gonna try it. Oh, okay. Oh, that is pretty dang good, in my opinion. I think I'm gonna go in with the red. This Cabernet. Cabernet. My favorite wine. No, I'm kidding, I actually hate Cabernet. Oh, why? I'm trying to pack it on right now because blending, using a blending brush didn't do anything. My fluffy Sigma brush. Alright, let me just go in with clutch and see how this does as an inner corner highlight. Um, I mean, it's pretty, I guess. Alright, and then I'm going to be using um, some Art Doubt lashes. These are the um, Demi Wispies. So I'm going to be using this pair down here. Okay, so I put on some falsies. And now we move on to the face. One eternity later. I'm gonna go in and set everything. I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. I look so pale. Oh my goodness. I think that's probably good. And I'm just kind of like pushing this in because um, I feel like you get a better color payoff that way rather than just like dusting it on. Um, and then I go back in and just kind of buff it out so it's not too harsh, but I really want the color to show through. I think I want to go in with um, my Anastasia Glow Kit um, and I want to use the shade Taffy just because it's very warm and I feel like it complements this. Wow. Do you see that? Oh, I'm going to layer it on. I don't even care if I'm an oily mess, like I'm going to take this off right after this because it is um, 11.31 at night. <laughs> oh, see, I'm obsessed with a blinding highlight, but unfortunately my oily self will just not allow it. But like, now that I like know that I'm going to, okay, obviously I'm just going to take this right off afterwards, so... I want to be glowy. Wow. Anastasia. And I actually am going to do a little like nose contour too, I think. Teeniest amount. I don't really know if that changes anything or if you can even see it, but... Oh, maybe you can. Does that help? I mean, does that even look like anything? I'm gonna go in with 
this um, ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip. This is in the shade Mystic. It is really pretty. I'm going to set my face with some setting spray. I totally forgot to put something under my eye. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. Um, hopefully you guys still enjoyed it even though it was kind of a disaster. <laughs> um, needless to say, I think it turned out pretty good for what I was working with um, and it being like 11.30 at night. I don't know why I looked down. I don't even have a watch on that was <laughs> so utterly pathetic. <laughs> Anyways, so thank you guys for watching. If you like me, if you like my videos, then please give them a thumbs up and share and like and comment and subscribe and do all of that good jazz. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!